Hey there everybody, how you doing? I am Francis and welcome back to Final Fantasy VI. Last time we defeated Vargas and we reunited with Edgar's brother Sabin. And we are now outside of the Returner's hideout. Let's not waste any more time, let's just go in here. The Returner's hideout. King Edgar! This way please! Alright, lead the way, I shall follow. I won't ask any questions. Sounds like they were expecting us. Alright, you know what? I don't want to go in there just yet. I want to check the shop. What are you What are you selling? You know what? I know what's about to come up. So I'm going to pick up another pair of sprint shoes. And I'll grab another tent. And... Hmm, grab some potions, sure. And, uh, actually, I'll need another pair of sprint shoes, because I know what's coming up. Alright, that'll do. And I did say in the last episode I was going to rest in the inn. I say we do that. Yeah, I'll take a nap. I'm glad I get to rest free of charge, which, uh, you know, I should, since, uh, this is the Returner's Hideout, right? Which makes me wonder, also, if this is the Returner's Hideout, why do I have to purchase items, right? Like... We're all returners here. Nobody's gonna come here except for returners. Why not just hand out the supplies, you know? We could use them, like, really. Alright, let's go in here. I wanna look around before I... Well, go where I want- where I need to go. And I think that's actually all I can do. So, let's just go in that room that the returner guy uh, led us to, which he kind of... Respawn down there, but that's all right. We know where he wants us to go in here And I don't really understand why there's a save point in here when I could very easily just save outside You know, but you know what? We're not gonna question it and there there's Bannon by the way He's the one we are looking for Bannon we brought the girl with us is she the girl who can talk to Espers? Espers? Seemed the Empire had complete control over her. <laughs> Carrier Pigeons brought word that she wiped out 50 of the Empire's best soldiers in a few minutes. That's a lie! Tara? Bannon, she doesn't remember anything. Stay where you are. Okay. What's with the demanding uh, tone right there? Perhaps you've heard this story. Once, when people were pure and innocent, there was a box they were told never to open. But somebody went and opened it anyway. And that somebody was me, by the way. Curiosity got the best of me. He unleashed all the evils in the world. Envy, greed, Pride, violence, control. All that was left in the box was a single ray of light. Hope! We now confront those evils. And you are that last ray of light. Our only hope. Bannon! I'm so tired. Let me rest for a while. Alright. That was a weird little, uh, weird little conversation we had. Hey, Locke! Someone important to me was jailed by the Empire. I've hated them ever since. I joined the Returners when I realized the Empire was run to the core. I wanted to make a difference. Okay, that makes sense. But, I have no significant other in my life. That's not entirely true. Besides, I'm sure there are people who feel you're very important to them. They are counting on you. Thank you, Locke. That means a lot to hear. Uh, this is actually why I brought another pair of sprint shoes. Because I'm gonna need them. There we go. I, I also love Terra Steam. Like, it's a very, very nice theme, isn't it? Now I can go back here, 
what's in here. Can I check this? Nope, okay. Out of the way! Out of the way! Stupid returner. Ah, Air Nancy. I know that's a weapon for Locke. Locke's not with me right now, so I'll just have to hold on to it. And I got True Knight, which... True Knight's not too bad, and got an Antidote and a Tincture. Both of those are nice. True Knight is one of those relics I never use. Uh, True Knight is basically like a cover. If you equip uh, the relic uh, True Knight, um, basically that person will cover and protect somebody that's low in health. It's useful, but it's not something I really ever use. Oh, hi, Seven. The only thing I can add is that you can trust my brother implicitly. Okay, well, that's reassuring. He's a total flirt, and he hits on anything with a pulse, but it makes me feel good to know that I can trust him. Thank you, Sabin. He's always been fair with me. You can trust him, Terra. But don't you dare tell him I said that. Okay, I, I won't tell him anything you just said. What you told me will stay between us, Sabin, okay? Or will it? Edgar Seven says I can trust you. It's gonna be tough to talk you into helping us. If we push you too hard, we're no different than the Empire. So we want you to make up your own mind. Thank you, Edgar. I am very happy to hear that. You're not gonna really push and hurt me to do something I don't want to. You're gonna let me make up my own mind. Thank you. Bannon? He went outside a moment ago. Well, we better go see him, shouldn't we? Hi, Bannon. Have you made a decision? Will you become our last ray of hope? No, I will not. You're asking for too much from me. I see. Sorry, I, I just can't do it. All the pressure, you know? Alright, well, we gotta go back to him. You know, Edgar was talking about how we have to make up our, our own mind. We're here if we say no to Ben and we just get sent back into the hideout. So, it's not like we're really get, being given a choice, huh? How you made a decision. Will you become our last ray of hope? Haven't you heard me the first time? I said no! I thought as much. He says something different every time I say no. I'm gonna try and say no one more time. You're sure about this? I, I, I think I made up my mind the first time. I can't move anymore. Hope? How can anyone put their hope in me? Oh. Oh dear. What's going on? What happened? Uh oh. Blah! Someone did a number to him. You know, this is different by the way. This is the first time I actually uh, kept saying no to how many times uh, Bannon asked me. Usually after the second time, I just sort of go, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll do it. So this is different. I never saw this cutscene before. So this is interesting. Someone did a number on him. So Figaro. Uh, Emperor to Figaro coming this way. Uh, they found us. We have a moment to lose. Oh, okay. Now this looks familiar. All right. Lock. I know. Someone has to sneak into South Figaro and slow the Empire down, right? This is right up your alley. Good luck. Terra, please wait for me. And please, don't let a luxurious young king who shall remain nameless near you. Lock! <laughs> You've been found out, Edgar. Big brother, aren't you ever going to grow up? No. What are we going to do? We'll escape down the Lette River and make our way to Narsh. I want to see that Esper for myself. Right. There's a rat by the back entrance. It's a gamble, but we're fresh out of options. You're in danger here. Come with us to Narsh. 
You'll probably even gain some understanding of your own abilities. Well, it's not. We kind of have no choice now. I stay here. Or I'm as good as becoming a puppet again. We've no time to dilly dally. Let's make for Narsh. Yes, sir. I understand you're uneasy, but even as we speak, innocent lives are being lost. Please, we need your abilities. This relic will keep you safe. Oh, Genji Glove. You know, if I agreed to help uh, Bannon, I would have got a gauntlet which would allow me to hold a weapon with two hands. But you know what? I like the Genji Glove a lot better. It lets you equip each hand with a weapon. Thank you very much, sir. That's actually the first time I constantly kept saying no. Like, usually I say no once as a joke once or twice, but the third time I always go with yes because I always assume, you know, it's just going to be the same thing over and over and over and over. So that was interesting. Alright, well, we gotta get out here. The Empire is on our way. The Lete River. Here we go. This raft will take us to Nars. I don't want to hop on just yet. Uh, there's actually one thing I want to do. This is very important. You have to take Bannon and move him to the back row. Because, uh, well, the point of this writing the raft thing, if Bannon dies, it's, uh, game over. And moving someone to the back row means they will take less damage when they are hit. So your objective here really is to keep Bannon alive. Head to war Nars, but protect Bannon at all costs. If Bannon is put out commission, your journey's over. And now we get to ride down the Lake River, just let the water take us where it wants to take us and beat up any monsters that get in our way. Some fun times! Alright, let's hit with a Blitz. Uh, you can just attack. You can use your all crossbow, and then when he gets his turn, every turn, I have him use health. Which is kind of like a cure all thing. It will heal your entire team. And that's sort of how I play with Bannon. I don't care how low or how high our health is. Every time he gets his turn, I tell him to use health. And that's just how I do this. I like this how when we're faced with a which way you want to go thing. That the water sort of stops pushing us and lets us think and decide. I want to go straight. So I shall keep going straight. I just like that how like, the water just sort of like stops pushing us so we can decide which way we want the water to push us. Kinda interesting. <laughs> I don't think uh real like real like what fast waterways work that way. And I just noticed I didn't equip that Genji glove. I can really equip like these uh relics to anybody, but in my mind there's only one right choice when it comes to equipping a Genji Glove and that is to give it to Sabin because well he fights with his fists right and you have two fists right so of course you give it to him right oh boy where are we going now into our first cave it looks like Hit a blitz, use your auto crossbow, you attack whatever is still alive after this. Because I have no control of uh, Savin's uh, blitz. I can put in the input commands to hit a certain blitz, but whoever he attacks, that's entirely up to him, you know? I can't control that. Boom! That's how you get things done. And Bannon has leveled up, and so has Terra. Nice! We got some good level ups happening here. And we have entered our first cave, and in each of these caves is a save point. Nice! I'm going to equip the Genji Glove to Sabin, like I said. Because he's the only right choice for this. I don't have another weapon for him yet, though. And we got Sprint Shoes. Uh, Bannon, by the way, you can't equip or give him relics or anything. He is a temporary party member. After we've done this uh, madness with the uh, Wrath and Gang to Narsh, we're not going to be using him ever again, so don't get too fond of him. I'll save while I'm here, by the way. We're about to be introduced, by the way, to one of my favorite bosses in this game. And one of my favorite characters, and one of my favorite villains. 
Although I think everybody likes the little villain in question that we are about to meet. I know going up will take us in a circle, so I, I want to go left. And more monsters want to get in our way. That's fine. I don't mind taking down these winged abominations. You know, now I think about it, I think Terra should go in the back row too, because against the boss, she's only going to be using magic. Should I put her in the back row? If I get a chance to, I will. I can't open the menu while I'm on the rack. But yeah, I think uh, against the boss, yeah, Terra should go in the back. Because in the back row, she'll take less damage than... He can hit her. Oh, okay, well, great. And I think I can put Edgar in the back too, so... We'll just leave Savin in the front row for this boss. And we can save again, because why not, you know? And let's go for another ride. Because I love going for a ride. I love my raft. I have grown fond of this raft. Like, I have a special connect connection with this raft. I am one with the raft. And I know that's probably the creepiest thing you have ever heard. To hear that somebody has feelings for a raft of all things. It's dead. Too easy. I love it. Uh oh, this ain't gonna be good. You know, when you really think about it, we should be dead. We just went down a freaking waterfall. Oh, hello. What are you? What? What is it? It's my, it's my favorite little boss that I told you guys about. The little guy that everybody loves. It's Altros. Wee hee hee. Game over. Don't tease the octopus, kids. Uh, uh, uh. Not good idea. Alright, well, we just really have to hit this guy with everything we got, and stay alive is also very important. That is why I moved Edgar and Terra to the back, because his technical attack can be quite brutal. And it's also why Bannon's in the back, because that's the only way he'll survive the technical attack. Yeah! Seafood soup! Ew, he inked me. And I got a nice, uh, little pair of shades. Alright, so this is the blind stats that happened to Terra. Do you know what it does? Absolutely nothing. Like, normally in Final Fantasy games, when, uh, you have, uh... Whenever you are blinded, your accuracy lowers. But, in this game, it does absolutely nothing. Like, it doesn't change her accuracy. She's still gonna... She's still gonna hit the enemy she's trying to hit. And I think Seven might be dead. Nope, he took a lot of damage, so... That's okay, Bannon will take care of him. Ooh. You didn't get that much health back, buddy. But yeah, this is pretty much the idea for the boss. Have Bannon heal, have Terra heal if needed, and just... Hit him with your blitzes and your tools. And fire! Although fire usually causes him to go and ink you, but... It's alright. And Seven died. What a shame. Yeah, you inked me! Stop inking me, that's disgusting! I mean, it does nothing to me, just a very small amount of damage. Fire! Like, really, as far as I know, Blind does nothing. And this is when he's gonna attack Bannon, because he's scared of Bannon. But if Blind does anything that I don't know of, uh, please let me know. Like, I played this game many times, and I noticed no difference between uh, fighting with Blind and without Blind. I that's all, friends! Thank you for coming. I guess we thrashed it.
Don't bet on it. It's probably just hiding from us. Waiting for the chance to strike. Ew! Something stuck to my leg! Tara, over here! Yeah, don't get too close to the edges. It's still hanging around. It's alright now. Is it? Watch out! I'm going to hit it with a blitz. Savin, no! Don't be so reckless! Don't distract me, brother! And away he goes! And he's dead. He's always been a tad zealous. Savin! Don't worry about him. Are you sure he's okay, Benin? You should know better than any of us. Any moment he'll fall right onto the raft. Whee! There he goes. What were you saying, Benin? He just took off like a rocket. I don't think he's coming back on the raft. Seems a little too perky. Heh. <laughs> Seven! Seven! Take care of yourself. Uh, I don't know how he can take care of himself when he's, uh, knocked unconscious and probably dead. And there goes his lifeless body, floating down the waterway. If he wasn't dead before, he is now. Edgar and Tara race towards Narsh while protecting Bannon. But what about Seven, who was swallowed by the raging waters? And how is Locke faring after having penetrated the Empire's defenses in South Figaro? Is all going according to plan? I, I don't think uh, having to escape down the Lete waterfall was uh, part of the plan. Right now, we're just trying to get away because the Empire found us. So, I wouldn't say anything right now is going according to plan. But this is an interesting spot of the game where you can, uh, where the story splits off into three ways and you have, uh, three options. You can, you can choose the way you want to proceed from here. You want to continue playing as, uh, Edgar and Terra and Bannon? Do you want to go see how, uh, Sabin is doing? Do you want to see how Locke is doing? It's entirely up to you. But as far as it goes for me, well... This is going to be it for today, and we'll figure out which way we want to go in the next episode. So, thank you for joining me, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, have a nice day. Bye, everybody.